guys, Atlas here again uh, with another tutorial for weakening. Uh, weakening is a new trait that came out with, uh, I think, the previous update or maybe the one before that. Uh, but what it does is it, it works similar to Perseverance and then allows you to get charge points um, in other ways besides killing an enemy, which is great. Uh, let's take a look at it. So, weakening um, has a percent chance to weaken enemy for one turn. Uh, melee attacks against weakened enemies are guaranteed not to be body shots. And have 75% chance um, to get a charge point. Um, I believe that's affected by Lucky, so uh, if you have Lucky, I think it's going to be even higher. Don't quote me on that. Sometimes with body shots, yes, no, Lucky doesn't apply. Um, I have to check on that. But anyway, it's still pretty high, 75 uh, melee attacks that inflict weakened immediately benefit from the effect. Um, that just means that you don't have to first weaken an enemy and then hit them to get the charge point. The attack that, uh, that inflicts the weakening can immediately potentially get a charge point. So that's good news. Um, and of course, uh, we're not going to cover perseverance here, really, but I mean, that's just you get a chance to get a charge point if you don't kill someone. So if you have both of these on, on a survivor, um, that's a very high chance that you're going to get charge points. Now on your bruisers, your hero bruisers, I would recommend having both of them at least on um, Riot Gear Glenn and T-Dog. Um, Eugene, not necessarily. He would be good with just weakening instead of Perseverance, or Perseverance on him is good as well. Um, we're going to test. My Eugene doesn't have Weakening yet. Um, I'll probably replace Perseverance at some point, but for the purposes of this video, I wanted to bring at least one guy that didn't have Weakening already, um, so I decided to grab him and my two non-hero guys here, a scout and a warrior. Uh, Slade has the Mercer's Axe, and Raven has the uh, Morgan Staff. I was a Teen Titans fan once upon a time, can you tell? All right, leave me alone. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a try. So while... Um, these enemies are going to be pretty weak, so you're going to have to bear with me while I run my level up a little bit. Um, so, I covered what a body shot is in other videos, but some of you might have missed that. Um, uh, I, I'm terrible with the audible pauses today. Um, um, forgive me that. So a body shot is essentially half damage, and this occurs when an enemy is significantly higher level than you. How high depends on the pink stars you have, um, but it's, it's usually, I think, five levels higher than your survivor level, minus any pink stars. Whatever. Basically, if enemies high level, like, you know, a lot higher, they're always going to be body shots. And in the difficulties that we're facing these days, everything's a body shot. Well, this one will be good since they're all just coming from this one side. I like that. This will be a good for the demo. A good little scavenge mission for the demo. We can just camp over here and basically destroy guys forever. Um, what happen, What are, What other things are significant about a body shot? Um, your bruiser, his normal attacks will stun like that unless it's a body shot. If it's a body shot, these attacks won't stun. Uh, I'm hoping to demo that for you. I'm just going to run this level up a little bit. 
Do 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 See what else can I cover in this? Anything? Anything? How are you guys doing? Happy Tuesday, right? Mm, these guys are here. Okay, so since these guys are weakened, well, this guy on top is weakened. That's why he's got the little swirly swirl around him. So I'm going to do a normal attack, and the weakened guy is for sure not going to be a body shot. No, okay, neither one of them were because I do have a razor weapon. I guess that would have been good to maybe equip a non razor weapon so you guys could see body shots more. But, okay, so this guy on the bottom, this is an example right here. The guy on the bottom, I hit him with a body shot. So he didn't stun. So this is a big deal when you're using bruisers and you're trying to stun some guys. Um, if you get a body shot, it won't stun. So weakening is going to make it so that every attack, if they're weakened, every attack is not a body shot. So this would never happen against a weakened enemy. A lot of new players come in and are like, oh, I hear all this stuff about body shots. What is that? Why, why do I care about body shots? Well, if you don't pay attention to body shots and you just are want to, you know, most of us do this when we're new. We just run in with assaults or hunters and, you know, the biggest as far as shooting guns and just try and kill everything shooting it. Um, you're going to get stalled if you do this maybe just a couple levels above your level, you won't be able to push beyond this wall. That's what we always used to call it, the wall. You would hit that, you'd just be like trucking along, kicking ass, and then all of a sudden you hit this like invisible wall and you can't proceed any further. That's because guns blazing uh, without some tactics, uh, it's not gonna carry you very far because the enemies get so strong that all of your attacks become body shots. So the tactics that I, I like to try and show you guys are for going beyond the wall. I mean, that's what Sasha's for, that's what Guardian Carol's for, that's what Princess is for, uh, is for going beyond the wall. Okay, so, yeah. My guys are too strong. It's taking me forever to find a level that's in 42. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's keep going. I want to need these levels to go up a little faster. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ. A lot of new players also, they don't even bother with normal survivors anymore. And uh, I, I don't blame you. If I was a newbie, I probably wouldn't bother either. Um, but back in the day, we didn't have heroes. All we had was normal survivors. So um, a lot of us built them up pretty strong and then they came out with uh reroll who did is this bottom guy weakened so the only way to tell if they're weakened is that swirl around them so the bottom guy is not weakened so let's see if we can 
Okay, so we stunned him anyway. That's good. Anyway, we built up the normal survivors, and I mean, it's okay to do this nowadays still too, because if you, especially if you're playing a high level challenge, or even if you're doing outpost, you're gonna have a ton of trade goods to use, more than you need, and you can spend those trade goods on normal survivor tokens, and just build these guys up. With these traits like weaken and perseverance, you could make essentially heroes out of your non-heroes. And it's a lot cheaper to re-roll, well, not a lot cheaper, it's cheaper to re-roll them. It only costs 40 instead of 50 re-roll tokens. Um, it's easier to get normal hero, normal survivor tokens, because you can, that's, that's available all the time in the radio tower. Uh, they used to do events to, uh, See if I can weaken this guy or kill him. Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, they used to do events where they got uh, double tokens for normal survivors. I think the original event was called Increased Chance of Epic and Legendary Survivors. And it was like the best event in the game. It's the one that everybody looked forward to. Uh, but nowadays it's... Nobody cares. Nobody cares about these normal troops. Alright, I think I could done run in my mouth about that. These enemies are starting at high enough level that I'm not auto-killing them. Okay, so let's have Eugene stun them. Eugene doesn't have weakening, so no pink swirl on these guys. Let's see if Raven can get them weakened. Okay, Raven got both of them weakened. Right now, Eugene has no charge points. We're going to see if he has punish attack coming. We're going to see if he can get charged up at all from the punish attack. He didn't. Um, but we have another guy weakened up here. Let's just smack him. Okay, so Eugene only has Perseverance. He doesn't have Weakening, but since he hit a weakened enemy, his Perseverance and that enemy being weakened. So you don't have to have the Weakening trait to benefit from it. That's another cool thing. You can have... Whatever your biggest workhorse guy, like maybe Ezekiel, have the weakening trait and have him just go around weakening everything and everybody else come around and smack him after the fact. I mean, you can do that if you want. I'm probably just going to put it on everybody just because they can all help each other. Works better. Um, just smack some more guys here. Maybe I need them to be a little stronger. Okay. See, that was just... Um, Slade here has... Power Strike. And... Since he hasn't moved... And these guys are weakened... That means there's a very high chance that his normal attacks are going to be critical hits. So you see how much damage he did. That wasn't a charge attack, folks. That was just his normal attack as a critical hit. Let's see if we can do it again. Should we do it in slow motion? Let's do it in slow motion. All right, not a charge attack. Let's keep going. Mm-hmm. All right, let's unloose, unleash some bruiser uh, charges here. Let's, let's take Slade out of the equation. Let's just see if we can get these guys to charge themselves up. Let's just get some smacking going on here. 
I want I want to invite some friends to this party, so I'm gonna try not to kill these guys. We're gonna try and get a big old gaggle going on here. All right, Gino. All right, Eugene is not charged, so I want to take him down to hit this group down here. Boom, full charge. Like I said, I'll probably put weakening on Eugene, because why not? But I don't need it. Since my other two guys have it, I'm really fine without it. Uh, let's see if we can invite some more guys to the party. Ooh, fun. Okay. Oh, hey, look, I got a little straggler over here. I want to bring him over to the group, so we're going to... We're going to do this. just stun everywhere. I wonder if there's any priority. I wonder if they... They are going to target the weakened guys every time. Because he's definitely doing it there. And I got another straggler over there. So we want him to come to the party. Oh, there was another guy. I didn't realize he wasn't stunned. Okay, I guess that's the end of the tutorial, folks. Or I could keep going. Why not? Alright, so let's let this guy slide out and meet Slade. Hey. So when I'm playing seriously, I'm not running my mouth like this, so I'm paying more attention. Anyway, you can see why some people are really um, doing some offensive bruisers is because unless you're stupid and made a mistake like I did there, if you're paying attention, your bruisers aren't taking hits like they used to. They're charging almost every round. 
And so, you know, making them tough so they can take damage is kind of pointless. Unless there's a heavy walker on the mission, which, you know, heavy walker, obviously that's a different ballgame. I'm kind of quiet right now. I don't know what else to say. I could probably have ended this tutorial a while ago. Well, that's another thing people were pointing out is there there's a big advantage now to weapons that hit twice because on the first hit you can weaken everything and then on the second hit recharge so it makes things like mercer's axe and uh like festive lucille or a uh a luke's gear mace or pretty much any warrior weapon it, it, it gives it a it, it just makes it cheesier than it was before. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I ran on my mouth for a long time. Um, apologize for that. If you have any questions, let me know. I really just, uh, one guy asked me if I could do a tutorial, and I thought if one guy wanted it, then probably more guys would appreciate it as well. All right, well, cheers. Talk to you later.